Hey YouTube, um, it's iPodman711 here, and, <clears throat> excuse me, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get customized working on the iPod Touch 2nd generation, and you probably all want to know because when you download it, it crashes, so, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this, and, in this, you need to be able to know how to SSH, and if you don't, I'll put another video on the description to learn how to SSH because you do need to SSH to get it working. And you need to have, you definitely have to have a jailbroken iPod Touch. First, what you want to do is actually download Customize. So type in Customize in Cydia. And it should look like that, but probably like a blue circle with an X there. Just download it. I have it downloaded already. 2.2.1 customized. That's what you want. And then from there you're you're done with you're done with Cydia. And then so usually let's see if I can get this to crash, but I I fixed mine already, but usually when you open it up, it crashes. It will totally, completely go down. I mean, I've fixed mine, so you don't you like I don't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna show you. So, um, I'm just gonna switch the computer screen because now we're gonna open up, um, WinSCP or CyberDuck if you have Mac. All right. So, first, what you need to do is open up WinSCP or CyberDuck. So just do. I'm gonna do that. what you need to do is in the description I have a download link from SendSpace download that and it should be customized too it should be a zip folder if if you have WinRAR it should look like the books here if not it's just gonna be the same thing what you want to do is right click and press extract files and then we should you should get is a customized to folder that came out of that when you open it up, there should be customized to inside of it, and then um, file sets, original backup strings, and cake, whatever, cache, whatever, and just close that out for now. And then we're going to go back into our SSH. Let me just go in. And the password is Alpine. You guys all know that if you watch my video. Okay. Um. So when you have your SSH client open. I want you to click on this back and then I want you to click into mobile and then you need to click into library and from there if you look what when you downloaded the regular customize it should be named customize 2 what you need to do is press right click and delete it I'm not going to delete it because that's the one that I did. But anyway, when you delete it, you're going to go back into your desktop and you're going to take the customized to folder and you're going to you're going to drag it in. You know what? I'll do it for you guys here. You're going to delete this. And then you're going to drag the customized to folder in um to the library folder copy it okay so then you should get customized to again um so this i had trouble but i try i fixed it when you open it there's another customized to 
which is very annoying. So what I and this this is what makes it get screwed up. But I'll tell you how to fix it. So sorry about that. So when you open this up, you're going to take this customized to the second one. After you open the first one up, take the customized to and drag it into this folder. Like I've done it already right there if you could see that. So you're going to drag it into this folder. I already have it so I have to overwrite it. And then you should see customize two there. So then just go back and then the one that you dragged in, right click and delete it. And then from there you take this one, the second one, and you and you copy this one in. And then we're all good. Okay, so then from there you could just close out of your your um SSH client from now and then we're going to go into our iPod hold on let me just take this off it's gonna spring now hold on okay so as you can see just cancel the sync as you can see, customize is right there. Before you open that up, I want you to go into the go. Well, I want you guys to go into the settings and go to Wi-Fi and turn the Wi-Fi off. It's I it, I noticed that when you turn it off, it it actually works better. So open up customize, and this time it should not crash. That, there you go. It didn't. It did. It doesn't crash. And I hope this really helped you. I mean, you see, you can go here. Edit system strings, English, and we have all this stuff. You know, all this stuff. We could change. You know, slide to unlock, or power lock. Look, power lock. Slide to power off. We could write, bye. Bye, iPod. And then press save, and then close, and then go back to strings, and then go back to customize, and then you do this every time, and then you go exit and restart string board. And so I really hope this helped you. I mean, it did help me, and I'm so happy now. So I'm gonna so I t I change it to buy iPod so. Buy iPod, as you can see there. It says buy iPod, it usually says slide to unlock. I mean slide to power off, and now it says buy iPod. So this customized app really helps me a lot, and I hope it helped you. And if it did, you could comment, rate, and subscribe. So, alright, bye YouTube.